But Hope Morgan was an educated woman who thought that she did the right thing when she sought medical attention for her insomnia. What happened next could be described, as she does, as a living nightmare. Um, how bad were your symptoms? What, what was troubling you? What sent you to the psychiatrist? It was insomnia. I was sleeping maybe two hours a night. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw my physician and I um, explained my symptoms to him and he immediately diagnosed me as being depressed and sent me to a psychiatrist. And then? Uh, then started a year-long nightmare. You've seen time now. It's been five years. I've got to work real hard at it. Really? Yes. Yeah. As Diana described, are you tightly controlling yourself? Yes, we, we do, I would say. I think there's always a fear that it's something I'm not going to remember or because of the memory loss that it's just not going to be there and I can't draw on it because there's a blank. The husband or any of your family try and stop what was going on? They were pretty much kept in the dark. They were not included in the, uh, the consultation for the ECT treatments and they saw very little of me when I was hospitalized. you saying they, they were kept away from you and, and you were drugged? Yes. The psychiatrist seemed to avoid my husband and his questions. Uh, when he would try to see me at the uh, psychiatric facility, uh, they basically told him very little. In fact, for weeks there was even there was no treatment plan in place. I was just there. You were there for how long? I was in and out for a total of 55 days, or until my insurance ran out. Is actually what happened. What happened when your family and your husband found out what was going on with you? Well, they were, of course, very upset and very concerned, but at that point, my husband was told my prognosis was extremely poor, that uh, he was not to expect me to return home, and that I, I could possibly die. I was, I was very suicidal. I, in fact, I had tried to commit suicide in the psychiatric facility. What have you lost? I, I asked the question, Diana, what have you now, what is knowing hope all about? What else do you have? Well, first of all, I've, I've lost a lot. I've, I've lost precious memories. Uh, my daughter's graduation from high school, uh, years of college, uh, vacations. In fact, I lost memories after the treatment. We took a cruise after uh, the last treatment, and I, I, I have no recollection of that at all. But, you know, more important, once it was all over, my life was basically in shambles. My husband and my family was, you know, very devastated by this. We found ourselves nearly $20,000 in debt due to medical bills, and um, my career was in jeopardy. What do you want to tell people about ECT? Why have why you come on television? Well, first of all, I don't believe it's a, a cure. Uh, to me, ECT means taking normal brain physiology and making it abnormal.